Welcome back. We want to go back downtown to King 5's Ted Land, where a massive protest is underway. Ted. All right, so just within the last five minutes or so, there's been a major escalation here between the demonstrators and the police here at 11th and Pine with uh, several flashbangs going off. I see a fire burning in the distance now, and I believe they fired some tear gas canisters up here on the crowd. There was this like, kind of standoff right at 11th and Pine about a block from the Capitol Hill Precinct Police Station uh, where people were just a few feet away from the police uh, trying to uh, try to get a little closer to them when all of a sudden we saw some more police heading to the scene. We heard the explosions and then people just started running and they've managed to push people back a little bit of a distance, but you hear some more explosions there as the police continue their tactics to try and get this crowd to disperse from here. Up until now, this gathering uh, was mostly peaceful. I mean, they had been marching throughout the city, uh, through downtown and then up to Capitol Hill. And we weren't seeing any kind of problems, any altercations. We saw one arrest earlier in the evening. Okay, all right. All right, so. All right, so it looks like some fireworks went off. Uh, and some more explosions here as they try to get the crowd back. And we're really not sure what the smoke is in the air, but we're gonna try and keep our distance and step back. But still a few hundred people here gathered in the streets as the police try to push them back farther than they are. Um, to give you a sense of where we are, we're right on Pine Street next to Pike. This is where most of the marchers have gone and police have been blocking off the streets around here. You know, it had gotten to the point about an hour and a half ago where it seemed like the demonstration had uh, kind of run out of steam and it had gotten a lot more quiet. They uh, were doing some chants and it wasn't sure really what would happen next. But then another part of this group uh, met up with this group. Uh, and then within a few minutes was when we started hearing those blasts and explosions and some of the tactics from police. Tell them what I did. Tell them I was calling it out. Very sorry. And so, um, Tonight, yeah, so we're just kind of keeping an eye on this to see what happens. It looks like people hadn't hadn't left yet. So are, are you Ted, one of the organizers? Yeah. Okay, can, 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 one second here, Mark. Uh, what's your name? Romulus Saunders. He's one of the organizers. Just tell me what, what, what happened here. Do you know? I'm going to tell you what happened. There's some individuals right around us that are throwing, that are causing stuff. And if you, so we got to be careful. You got individuals that want to start shit. And yeah. then the little black kids, the little kids just got hurt. <laughs> We don't want this. We don't want this. You Nobody see that? You see that? Group in. You see that? So, so there were some people that, that were caused us. That caused this, and there are some people that caused us, and the little kids is getting hurt. If you, you see them guys with them hoodies on throwing them rocks, I'm not trying to talk shit, but they're causing us to hurt. They're causing us more pain. We don't want more pain. We want peace. And I don't think it's us. It's not us. It's not us. It's not. Thanks. Thank you for for sharing that. Yes, we, we, this is really not what they wanted to happen tonight. Uh, throughout the afternoon, there was so much talk about how this had to remain peaceful, otherwise the messages would get a lot really mixed up. Uh, and they they kept hammering that home through their their uh, speeches and through their demonstrations and their chants that if this needed to remain peaceful tonight and. Uh, with the turn it's taken in the last 10 or 15 minutes or so, um, this is really not what people wanted to see here. Yeah, so our apologies, obviously, PG-13. Uh, this is uh, the language you're going to hear. Right. We apologize. Uh, Ted, give us an idea. There was a huge crowd downtown. Did everyone go up to Capitol Hill, or are there still people downtown? Do you know? So that crowd downtown was the biggest crowd uh, this afternoon. Thousands of people we saw in, in that massive march going through the city. Uh, then they started coming up toward Capitol Hill. But I have to say, you know, when that curfew went into effect at 6 p.m., although that didn't require everybody to go home, it did cause some people to go home who didn't want to be out past the curfew. And so when that kicked in, um, hope, hold up. I'm, uh, when, when that when that cur curfew kicked in, I think the crowd thinned out a bit. And then as we got into the evening hours closer to sunset, uh, it really dispersed a lot. There were two different groups, and then they met up together. Um, so this is not nearly as big as it was before, but it, it's still a pretty sizable group of hundreds of people up here, Mark. It's, Ted, it sounds like they're deploying those flashbang grenades to disorient, to get people to clear out. 
Can you smell any chemical spray right. as well, Ted? Um, Tear gas? It's hard to tell. I, yeah. I, I can't. I am feeling a little bit of irritation in my throat, but we made sure to clear out before anything happened, and we keep, there's a, a big cloud. Whoa, okay, there's another bang, and there's a, a cloud of potentially some gas over there. We're seeing, I'm seeing some people, okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some people uh, who have, uh, it looks like tear gas in their eyes or pepper spray, and they're, they're having to clean that out, and they look like they're in a lot of pain. Um, so, a variety of, ta there's some fireworks there. Whoa. Ted, give us an idea exactly where you Police are right are... now. So we are just off Pine uh, between 10th and 11th. So if you know where Cal Anderson Park is, we're very close to that. Let's, let's back up here, guys. Oh let's back up. Let's back up. All right. Yeah, so we're, we're very close to Cal Anderson Park. And... Um, we're behind a restaurant here. It's kind of given us some cover. Um, but uh, I'm seeing people scatter into Cal Anderson Park. Um, hey, bots, hey, bots turn around here. If you get a shot over here, you can just see how big the crowd is. And really one of the most dense neighborhoods of, of Seattle between Pike and Pine on this corridor where there are so many apartments and businesses. Um, and many of them already boarded up. But wow. very near the uh, now they're just dispersing throughout the city. Very near the uh, Century okay. Ballroom there, Ted. This is a crazy scene. Very and near that. It looks like people are throwing stuff at the police as well now. I saw some rocks being thrown um, at the police, and the police are moving in. You see in the distance here, guys. Let's back up. Let's get out of here. Um, the police are advancing down Pine toward downtown um, into the area where we had just been uh, standing along with a lot of other people. And, and they're clearly just pushing everybody back onto these side streets and people are going. Um, and there are, oh, big clouds of, of gas, of tear gas coming this way. They're good. All right. Come to me, I'm fucking hit you with a fucking rock. Once on, again, our, our apologies. You're hearing some profanity uh, to be expected. Obviously, not something to be watched uh, with children in the room. Uh, Ted, do you feel like no, you need to? There's, there's do you need to get to a safe spot, Ted? No, you you, we're we're doing that, Mark. I think we're going to be okay here. Okay. Um, because we have we have room to go as we head toward Pike. Uh, Pike Street, um, there's a lot of open space here. So we're really just looking for those spaces where we can run to um, if, if we need to get out of here. Um, so I just saw, saw uh, you know, a lot of people running out of, out of the scene here and the cloud lingering in the distance and we're really trying to stay, stay away from that. Um, we're just gonna kind of collect ourselves here and, and try to wander back, but this is, this is where everybody was and has been cleared out. Are we okay here? Okay. So we've got our security guard here making, making sure everything's all right. Pike Street remains pretty crowded on the other side. But if you could turn around here and show me this scene over here on Pike Street. And Ted, what are a lot they chanting? More people over here. And I'm, you know, I, I didn't get a clear listen to that, Mark. Okay. And, and my eyes are starting to burn. What's happening? Our, okay, our eyes are burning big time. We gotta go, we gotta go, guys. We're starting to feel the effects of this tear gas or something. Okay. Just stay with our shot uh, for a little bit here. I can feel it burning in my eyes. And some people are in a lot of pain out here. Yeah, Ted, we're gonna let, we're gonna take, uh, do what you need to do, Ted. Jessica and I will, will, will uh, talk for a minute here. So Jessica, this is exactly what um, everyone was hoping wouldn't happen. As many as 7,000 people started downtown, the curfew kicked in, some went up to Capitol Hill. And as you just saw, just within the past 10 or 15 minutes, everything is just coming undone. Tear gas, flashbangs, and it looks like
people are setting off uh, fireworks as well. Yeah, we clearly saw a firework uh, exploding into the air right above these uh, demonstrators and protesters as things really got out of hand. We saw just how quickly things changed. Uh, what seemed to be like a peaceful end to the night or beginning of the, the night here in Seattle and then just quickly turned into the violence and the chaos that we've seen for the past few days. And as you said, Mark, it was really what everyone was hoping not to see tonight. We had a day of peaceful protests and then uh, just things devolving very quickly. Uh, those uh, protesters running uh, in every direction as the tear gas is being deployed. Uh, you can clearly see people in pain uh, with the irritant in their eyes right now, uh, but dispersing certainly from that area that we saw where that big gathering was just a few moments ago. And you know, the, the looting and the destruction that we saw in the Westlake area on Saturday night, um, not a lot happened up on Capitol Hill by comparison. There are a lot of shops, if, if those of you are familiar with Capitol Hill here in Seattle, so you can see lots of storefronts. There are shops and restaurants and coffee shops. Um, the potential for destruction uh, if widespread looting or vandalism takes place is immense up there. There are a lot of little stores and shops and, and a lot of people live up there uh, on Capitol Hill. So it looks like it looks like police have scattered the crowd for the most part. What happens next is anybody's guess. Yeah, absolutely. So many residences in that area as well as you mentioned, Mark. And as we uh, continue watching what's happening there, people walking away from the scene, we certainly saw people also throwing objects back uh, towards police at one point uh, as Ted was reporting. And so the question is going to be whether they regroup uh, in a certain area and that feeling and uh, you know, retaliation continues throughout the night, or if this is the beginning of, of seeing them kind of head in different directions and maybe disperse a bit. I want to see if, okay, we're going to give, uh, we're going to give Ted and his uh, photojournalist a little break um, to just take a, take a break, catch their breath. Uh, so we'll break away.